Hi there smart monks and welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. I appreciate you being here. Uh, hopefully you've subscribed and turned on the notification button so that you can know when I post any new videos because this is my little platform where I turn struggling math students into math masters. In this video, it's going to be a short one, but I'm going to be teaching you all about tax thresholds. This was a requested video. So without further ado, let's jump into this video. video I'm going to I want to explain to you the concept of threshold now I have made a video on taxation and in that video I explained to you the taxation process in this video it was a requested video where one of you were just not sure what does the word threshold mean and how do we calculate threshold how do we do calculations when asked questions on it and so I want to make this video to help you to just understand this concept because it is quite something that you have to wrap your head around okay so think of it like this the taxation threshold just simply means what is the maximum amount of money that you can earn in order to ensure that you do not have to pay tax that's it what is the maximum amount of money that you can earn where you do not need to for your age group where you do not need to pay tax that's in theory, that is what threshold means. Now, I'm going to do, I think the best way to explain this or to, to show you how to do calculation with this, I'm going to do a question. I'm going to work through a question with you. I want to work through this with you and sort of guide you into answering this type of question. But at the same time, I'm hoping that by the end of this, you will then get to understand the overall concept. So let's look at this example. It says, Katlejo who is 24 years old, has two jobs. One at the PYEI and the other at a retail store. He earned a combined annual taxable income of 87,329 for the 2021 and 2022 tax year. Okay, now remember whenever we're working with tax, it's important for you to remember what is the information they're giving me annually? What is the information they're giving me monthly? Because just like we work in measurement, we can only do calculations when all the values are either monthly or all the values are annual. Okay? And like with measurements, we can only do calculations when all the values are in millimeters or when all the values are in centimeters. We cannot add millimeters and centimeters. Annual tax income refers to what is the taxable income? What is the income that you are required to pay tax on? And that is value gets calculated for the year. So in this situation, Katlejo, where from his two jobs, earned 87,329 rand. Okay. And now from this value, right, from this value, he now has to work out what is his tax. Okay. Let's move. Table 4 shows the personal income tax rate, tax rebates, and tax threshold for 2021. 2022. Now, let's just understand these. I have explained it in my previous video, but I'll just quickly go over it again. Tax rates just refers to what is the amount, how are they going to calculate your tax? And this comes from the tax table. You use your taxable income to find the range, you then do the calculation on the right, and that is then your tax calculation. Tax rebates now is um, a case where you get money back based on your age. Okay, and then tax threshold refers to what is the maximum amount of money that you need to earn in order to ensure that you do not pay tax. Okay, so if this person is be under the age of 65 and earns less than 87,300, then they do not need to pay tax. That's what the threshold values mean. Okay. So now let's answer these three questions. This is actually a question I took from the NCS exam from um, 2023. And yeah, cal uh, calculate Katlejo's annual tax payable for 2021-2022 tax year. So if we look at that, we always use the annual value to see in which tax range it falls. In this case, um, Katlejo earns in the first tax range 
So in order to calculate that, if it's in the first um, range, right, in the first tax bracket, you'll just say 18% of whatever he earned that year, and that is his tax amount. But he also qualifies for tax rebates because he, he is under the age of 65, which means he qualifies for the primary rebate. Now remember, if he was older than 65, he would qualify for both the primary and the secondary. But for the primary rebate, you're then going to take this amount, which is what he, he has to pay as tax, and we will subtract the rebate that he was supposed to pay. So essentially, all Katlejo owes and all he needs to pay then for tax for this entire year is 5 and 22 cents. Okay. Now let's move to number two. The question says, define the term tax rebate. Now remember, I always teach that mathematical literacy is made up of two sections. There's the mathematical part and there's the literacy part. The literacy part refers to you being able to explain and describe circumstances or situations or make sure that you can show and explain what your answer means or sometimes it's terminology that you need to define. Okay. Now, in this case, they're asking us to define a specific term. What does tax rebate mean? Right? So, again, whenever you're answering these questions, you want to start with a capital letter, you want to end up with a full stop, and you can say anything that says the following. An amount of money deducted from your total tax payable based on age criteria, because we now know that it's below 65, and we've got secondary and tertiary, which is all based on age. Right? So that's how you would answer a literacy question. Now, question three is, was the one that was awarded most of the marks. And here the question says, show that the tax threshold for age 65 to 74 in the table is correct. Okay? So what you need to do is you need to show that if you calculate this person's tax, right, that they end up having to pay zero rent. Okay, so let's say, for example, this person was age 65 to 70. The tax threshold says that you have to earn 135,150, right, uh, to make sure that you don't have to pay tax. So we need to show that if we do the calculation, the tax calculation on this value, as if that was the income, that our answer would actually be zero for the actual tax. So watch this. So we're going to see 135,150 now as our taxable income, right? Then we're going to calculate 18% because then it would fall in your first tax bracket. And it's 18% of every rand, which means we calculate 18% of that actual value, which gives me the 24,325. Now, if you are aged 65 and older, then you get two rebates. You get the 15714 and you get the 8613, which added together gives you 24327. So if I took this is the amount that we calculated that they have to pay tax, this is the value that you calculate for the rebates that they qualify for, which is 2. And therefore, if I take what I owe minus the rebates, which is what I get off, and I'm age. Uh, between the age 65 and 74, then I end up not having to pay anything, which means I have proven that the tax threshold, the maximum amount of income that I can earn to pay no tax, is 135,150 for ages 65 to 74. And that is how you will go about understanding and doing calculations of tax threshold. All right, so there's that video. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. If you are interested in any of my revision classes that I will be giving, giving in June and before the June exams and before the final exams, feel free to email mathsmonkeyhelp at gmail.com and you can just add in the title of the email, extra classes June or extra classes November 2024 and I will send you all the information on that. So, thank you so much for watching another video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.